A local teacher and coach accused of having sex with a student goes to trial today. Larry Davis is live in Hamilton with new details on the relationship that was revealed in court. Larry. Hi, Cammie. The Fairfield teacher and coach waived a jury trial, so Tyler Conrad's guilt or innocence will be in the hands of Judge Keith Spaeth. He heard the accuser testify that Conrad inappropriately touched her, but he also heard the defense bring her credibility into question. Tyler Conrad took notes and listened intently as the 16-year-old accuser testified how she went from being a classroom aide to allegedly being pursued by the teacher coach. She told Judge Keith Spaeth how she eventually agreed to go with Conrad to a home in Ross. We are altering the teen's voice and not showing her face to protect her identity. I sat on the couch, he turned the TV on, so then he went somewhere, I don't know where he went, and then he came back and he was like, come here. So at this point we were standing behind the couch. So I got up, I went to him, and that's when he kissed me, and that's when he picked me up and took me to the bedroom. The student went on to say that Conrad kissed her and touched her inappropriately. She said that Conrad later inappropriately touched her in the classroom at Fairfield High School. But under cross-examination, the teen admitted to defense attorney Chris Pagan that she had lied at times, not telling detectives some of what she testified to in court. I was scared to say some things because at the time I was like, oh no, I could still get in trouble about this. So you weren't truthful, right? Right. And Cammy, the student also could not recall the dates on when some of these uh, occurrences actually took place. And she also said it was a sermon she heard that made her realize that what was going on was wrong and she had to stop it. This was against her value, she said. But pressed on uh, more on the subject, the defense attorney asked her uh, that or told her that it was about addiction and that she concurred that she told detectives that she had uh, Tyler uh, Conrad rather was her addiction. Live in Hamilton, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Cammie, back to you. All right, Larry, thank you. The prosecution is expected to continue its case tomorrow morning before the defense begins to call its first witnesses. Conrad is still on leave from his position at Fairfield High School without pay.